a few hours ago, I let the team know of my decision uh, to make this test match my last. Um, obviously, part of the last test match was quite emotional for obviously a big reason that the, a legend of the game retiring. But uh, I remember uh, we had a pretty good, good day the first day. We ended up bowling them out for around 220. Oh, yes, right underneath the line. He just gave it a little bit more air and it drew the opponent into the mistake. Quality cricket, a high quality spell of bowling from Nathan Lyon. We're walking off and I took three for 30, I was pretty happy. It's great, in a good position, 12 hours to go, hopefully the boys can knuckle down and get through it. And as we're walking off, Michael Clark comes up and he goes, uh, guys, you're going to be night watchmen. Well, no, surely not, like, I can't defend. He goes, uh, no, you're, you're not watchmen. Had the vest on, the whole, had the whole lot on, I was walking around the back room in the whacker and then the wicket fell. And this is a huge moment. If it's out, there's ponding back. It's out. Beautiful bowling. I remember walking down the down the, um, the race to get out to the whacker, and you can hear the you can, obviously the fans can hear the spikes on the thing, and all I can hear is get your phones out. Here, here's punter, how good here's punter, and, and anyway, across the rope, and the whole place erupted, absolutely erupted, standing ovation. Well, with a few overs remaining, Australia have thought it best to send the night watchman out. The crowd want to cheer Ricky Ponning. It's Nathan Lyon. He can't believe the cheer he's getting. And they'll soon realise Ricky's still sitting in the sheds. In the, in the, all I remember was about 15 metres out and they're like, yeah. <laughs> Ricky's wife was up, going to cheer his hubby out there. She started to cheer. That's not my man. Then I was just getting sledged by the South Africans about being Ricky Ponting in disguise. It doesn't look like Ricky Ponting to me, that's all I can say, but he's doing a very good job for his team. If he can survive tonight. Oh, and a good short ball, good pace too. Sing through to the keeper. That will ruffle your footwork. <laughs> so, uh, yeah, I was uh, lucky enough we got through that night. It's in the air, but it's safe to be runs. One go to the boundary, they should get two. Did really well there. 22 deliveries faced by Nathan Lyon. And then uh, the following day, I was lucky, very fortunate to bat with Ricky Ponning uh, for the first and only time. So there we go. Ricky Ponning has been ready to go for the last three minutes as they've gone through all that process and he makes the long journey in his final test match. I was that nervous about running punter out there on that game. I've never been so nervous running between the wickets. Off the mark, he's going to go. He makes it, so Ricky Ponning, there he is. That's a nervous single. Yeah, it was funny uh, for me. It probably wasn't quite as funny for Nathan. Um, he actually said, I don't think I'll ever get a reception like that again in my life. And I said, well, if you bat and get 100, I think you probably will. Um, yeah, that was a funny little moment in the game, I guess. And a bit of relief in my wife's face as well, I think, when I wasn't going out to bat that night. But...